Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I will take you deep into the urinary system. First, the kidney, the filtration organ of the entire body. It filters over 60 times a day. You might want to double check that because I'm quoting it off the top of my head. We have the cortex. We have the medulla. We have the renal pelvis, which leads down into the ureters. Let's zoom in, shall we? <laughs> Closer, we have the, cort well, sorry, the cortical nephron is here. This is the entire nephron. I would need a key for the rest of this. But assistant you Angela. See, this <laughs> you can see the, the uh, glomerulus cap capsule here. The Bowman's capsule is the exterior. And once you go interior here, this entire portion here is the glomerulus capsule. Or, so continuing along here for number 11, this is called the collecting duct. For number 12, unfortunately, <laughs> it does not appear to have it on here. Number 12 is the vasa recta, which you can also see here, which surrounds the tubules. You have your proximal collecting tubule. Well, let's see if I can find it here. It's easier on the other one. Well, going the, close. Yes. Proximal convoluted t tubule here, and then the distal convoluted tubule leading into the collecting duct. Am I getting this right so yes. far? Because I'm not really following the key. <laughs> okay, you have your thick descending tubule. You have your thin tubule, which is essentially part of that hen Henley, loop, loop of, of Henley. Henley. And then you have your ascending limb, which is your thick ascending tubule. Bonus there. question, what part absorbs and which part? Sodium in which part absorbs water? Come on, Angela, you know. Angie, do you know? I do. It's the first loop that does water, and then the second one that does sodium. So the descending is water, and the ascending is sodium? Yes. No, backwards. Backwards? Oh, descending is water. No, 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 descending, descending is sodium. Mm -hmm. Descending is sodium, and ascending is water? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And here off to the side, you can see another view of the afferent artery, correct? Mm -hmm. Going into the glomerulus, which we'll zoom in here. You have the afferent artery going into the glomerulus, where at this point it has fenestrations. It is a single cell layer of epithelium. Sodium this brain. just in. We have the descending does water and the ascending does sodium. <laughs> just in. Stay, stay tuned for further results. <laughs> so back to where I we were inside the glomerulus. It does a lot of little <laughs> tubing here. And inside that tubing you have, of course, as I said, the afferent arterial. And then in the afferent arterial, you have the granular cells right in here. The granular cells make up, along with the macula densa and the extra glomerular mesangial cells, make up the JGA. What a club to be a part of, ladies and gentlemen. Are you a member of the JGA? I know I am. Continuing on, you have... Podocytes. What does podo mean? Podo means foot. And that's what these little things do. They stick the foot right in those holes. It covers up those fenestrates. Those little fenestrates, also known as little windows, when they are covered, you do not have diffusion. When they are uncovered, particles are able to escape out the fenestrates. So continuing on through all of these glomular capillaries, you would go back out through the afferent arterial, 
That afferent arterial will lead off the screen here for now. But let's continue on. We didn't really talk much about the macula densa. The macula densa, as you can see, will be here. <laughs> the macula densa. Then you have the inside of the distal convoluted tubule. And again, that distal convoluted tubule, what does distal mean? It means far away. Proximal, what does that mean? That means close up. Like our exam. Exactly. So when you have convoluted, what is a convoluted person? It's when they're Twisted. all mixed up and they don't know where they're going. So that's what this tubule is. It's mixed up and doesn't know where it's going. So it is twisted. And tubule means just that little tube. And down here, number five, you have the proximal convoluted tubule. So that proximal convoluted tubule is going to be leading off and eventually become that distal convoluted tubule that you've heard so much about. Back to this side here, you have this part becoming the, uh, pro this is the proximal convoluted tubule, which will lead down into that loop of Henle and back up here. As soon as it's going further away, it becomes that distal tubule. Does that make sense so far? Here we go back over to this side. As you can see here, this is where the filtrate goes out into that proximal tubule. So that blood that has been filtered, it goes in through the afferent arterial and comes back out through the efferent arterial. arterial. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure there's more. Stay tuned for our next installment.